Hello, everybody. My name is Bradley Smith. I'm an old anesthesia doctor, and I realize that most of you uh, watching this are not anesthesia people, so I'm going to start off a little simply. Uh, you may not realize that in the first hundred years or so of anesthesia for babies and children, um, the babies didn't always breathe well enough for themselves, and we had to help them. And how we helped them was with a rubber bag filled either with the anesthetic gas or with air or with oxygen. Well, of course, for a long operation, this was very difficult. For adults, oh, long about 1960 to 1970, it became common practice to have machines breathe for them during uh, anesthesia. Well, because these babies were so little, uh, we just couldn't get the mechanics worked out uh, to do that. And so what I'm bringing to you today is a device that is, I believe, I've looked into this pretty carefully, I believe the only ventilator or operating room use designed for babies and children until about, uh, oh, uh, say, 1995 to, 20, uh, to 2000 when we began to use very, very improved adult ventilators on children. Well, here's the device. Now, it looks a little bit complicated. Us old-timers might even call it Rube Goldberg. But it, its real advantage was that it was pretty simple in use and pretty simple in theory. Now, you'll notice there is a way here on the side to vary the time of inspiration on the other side to vary the time uh, of exhalation. Well, if you have those two things variable, you can do the rate of respiration. And so what happened was this long tube here was in use. This was called a Mapleson variation of the Ayers tube. I know you wanted to know that, but I want you to know it because these were both fine gentlemen who invented things a long time ago. At any rate, we had those tubes, but we were still squeezing with the little bag. So this machine simply said, well, the thing to do is just put a little squeezer that's mechanical on the end of this long black tube and we'll force the air into the baby, but the baby in breathing out will breathe out the, the gases he's just had and this inlet up here will bring in new gases and flush out the old gases from this long black tube. So this then was, I believe, the only infant ventilator that was ever used. And this one's very personal to me because I bought it personally in about 1984 and used it on probably 200 babies uh, during my career and then donated it here to the Wood Library. Okay, I don't know whether you wanted to know all this, but you do now, and I wanted you to know it. Bye-bye.